conversations around things that are happening in Kenya right now with uh, talking about the finance bill and the demonstrations that are going on is that at the end of the day, how do we align these conversations to God's word for what is right? Yes, so uh, gratitude is, uh, is a time of thanksgiving. Uh, God has been good to us, especially this year we have been through a lot and we are still standing. We have uh, many reasons to thank God. Uh, this is not my first gratitude concert, uh, it's the second and uh, the first in Kenya. The first one was in Ivory Coast um, in 2022. Thank you. Um, and uh, it's just uh, a reason for me is just to pause, sit, reflect, think about God's goodness in our life. And uh, yeah. And of course, we have uh, so many ministers out there that you chose to work with Joe. What does one do? Um, whenever I work, I, whenever I have a project, I write a song or I have a concert. If I have to invite someone, I have to, I have to be one. And <laughs> I was led to uh, invite Joe. Unfortunately, it has not been able to come. Uh, but God knows everything, and this is the right time. Uh, it's coming. Um, and I also know that gratitude is something that is dear to his heart. In fact, just after. I started to plan my event in 2021. It just launched a gratitude tour. So I was like, wow, God. So yeah, it was like an answer for me. So when I now moved to Kenya uh, last year, I started planning this event for Sunday and I asked him to come and he's here. <laughs> okay, um, I'm Tosia from RFM. I get back to you, Jane. Uh, tell us more about uh, why it needs West. I'm from West. It's from West. <laughs> it's from East. So it's, uh, it's, it's in the spirit of unity. We are doing this together. Uh, we have a different background. <laughs> We were born in different parts of the, this world. Uh, for example, I was born in France, was born in Kenya, <laughs> US. <laughs> Ghana. <laughs> Ghana. So we are bringing, uh, we are putting our, um, how can I say, gift, talents together, knowledge. We are learning a lot from him. Uh, yes, to, to the glory of God. And right. uh, this event has happened uh, this time, uh, this time, uh, demonstration time. Okay, okay. Uh, it has, I don't know if it's a coincidence, the event has happened during uh, a time when Kenya is having, you know, you mm. want to go, I know what you, you know what is happening yes. right now. Yeah. 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 Girls, demos and stuff. Yeah. Mm. And uh, most people you are targeting, they are these people, the, the, the Gen Z's. Which uh, are the people who are demonstrating. What message do you have to them as you invite them to these events? This one goes to all of you. Tulo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me start. Uh, first of all, I'd say it's a good thing. Uh, okay. Use the mic. I use the mic, yes. Yeah. It's a good thing to see young people rise up and for advocate for justice and advocate for what is right. Uh, in fact, scripture talks about being that uh, God saying that justice is the foundation like of his throne, yeah, righteousness, yeah. And as such, we are living at a time when we are seeing this happening around us. And so the conversation is how do we rally these young people even as they talk about the fairness that needs to happen, justice that needs to happen, how do we align their conversation to what God has called us to? Because again, the foundation needs to be godly. And so as we have these conversations around things that are happening in Kenya right now with uh, talking about the finance bill and the demonstrations that are going on, 
is that at the end of the day, how do we align these conversations to God's word for what is right? And so I believe as we invite them to come, we are coming to say, we are partly coming to say thank you. Yeah. Uh, actually, not partly. The whole of, the, of this thing is we are coming to say thank you and we are grateful for the journey that God has walked us uh, with yeah. us. So as they come, with whatever they have in their hearts, we are releasing it before God and saying, Lord, thank you for where we've come from. Yeah. Thank you for where you're going to. And we desire to see his will reign over our land. Mm. So that's the communication right here that I would say to the young mm. ones that will be coming to this place. And the other thing is they need to be hopeful. We have to carry yes. forth hope yes. as we speak about Kenya. Kenya is a great country, it's a great nation, yeah. attracting great people. Yeah. As you can see here, <laughs> East meets West. And so we have to rally everyone towards the hope of a nation that is birthing a new thing. Mm. Yes. It's all said. Yeah. It's all said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not much that we can add to it. I mean, um, whilst we do, like he's saying, was. Um, a people stand for justice, a people request for things to be rightly done. Um, you don't also want to do it whilst other things would have already been destroyed because it would yeah. bring you back again yeah. to the beginning of the same yeah. things you want done right. Mm -hmm. So in all things, love should um, reign. Mm -hmm. In all things, peace should reign. In all things, um, the will of God should be done. Mm -hmm. And so I pray that as we gather We'll be able to even lift up um, a time of thanksgiving also unto the Lord for how far he's brought Kenya as a land. Yeah. I believe that it's time for Africa. Yes. Africa is rising. Africa is, 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 is becoming a beacon of hope to this world. And there's a lot that we need to show the, the world that truly the hand of God is over Africa. And I'm not talking just about Kenya. I'm talking about the entire Africa. So much change is going to happen. So much um, blessing is going to, in fact, the blessing that God has already positioned or place of our lives, it's about to show as a people. So I believe that in all things we do, we should do it in love, we should do it in peace. And um, But as we come on Sunday, we're coming to raise an altar of thanksgiving over uh, even this nation to the glory of God. Whatever what God wants to do in Kenya, we can unlock the blessing with the word thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. My question to Minister Joe, can you listen to Kenya? Ah, Asante. Is that not Asante? Did I say it right? Yeah. Happy birthday once again. Thank you. Uh, through, uh, about this gratitude, mm. what is your main expectation? Oh, my expectation is as we lift up Thanksgiving, God will unlock many great and mighty things. Um, Thanksgiving is a really, really powerful mystery in the things of God and in the kingdom. Even we as human, whenever we do something for someone or there's, there's, there's gratitude from maybe a child or someone that we showed a bit of kindness to, when they're grateful, it, it has a way that it's sort of like encourages us sometimes to even do more for them you know so i believe that if that is the case for us human how much more our heavenly father that when we are grateful he does more thanksgiving has the ability to unlock great things thanksgiving brings multiplication thanksgiving brings wholeness thanksgiving brings completion and so i pray that as we come together to, to lift up Thanksgiving, many great things will be unlocked in the lives of, of, of the people that will come into mm -hmm. this service. So I'm trusting God for a mighty move of His Spirit, mm -hmm. um, a heart of gratitude into many hearts, our lives, mm -hmm. uh, as we lift up the name of Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you go back to your ministry journey, we see you doing a lot of collabo mm -hmm. with international ministers, the likes of Dominic uh, and so to ask. Did you ever see yourself reaching to that standard? Uh, I think I did, I would say. Because I think right from the beginning, uh, when God had given me the mandate to embark on this journey, there were many promises and many things he had said to me. I think what I didn't perceive was some of these things, how 
quick it came. Because I, I am anticipating it in a later time. And within a, a span of probably five to six years, I've seen God do amazing things in my life. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Yes. Yeah, my name is uh, Gap from Media TV. My question to you is, of course, uh, you said that uh, God has given you the right to I I for now because I just came for uh, gratitude uh, probably might be just um, here in uh, Nairobi Chapel basically for this trip uh, maybe in the future there might be a few other ones um, collaborations I'm sure yes yes in the future. I would love to. There are few, but already I'm I'm doing one with Jane. I mean, now she's considered Kenyan, so it it, it, it ends there. So, but I think I think in the future there are few um, a few people that I'm sure that I would get the opportunity to also be be working with. Yes. Uh, the song Kadosh. Okay. Uh, what was the inspiration behind the song Kadosh? Because many people love the song Kadosh. It's a very powerful song. Uh, can you just tell us the little secret behind Kadosh? <laughs> Kadosh was inspired by my little girl. Uh, yeah, so I think while she was born, I I think one time I was just with her. Her mom was in, I don't know, I can't remember where she had gone to, but and she was like a small baby, you know, in my hands. And I was looking at how pure she looked, you know, and how I'm, I'm asking myself, how can... We be born with sin when we, mm. like, we look this pure as children or as babies. And just right then, the Holy Spirit just whispered to me, do you think this child is pure? I said, I think the child is pure. The child is, they, what you would say, she looks holy. And, yeah. and it says, even with all that purity you see in her, it has nothing, nowhere near the holiness of God. Wow. That's basically it. And right then, I sort of like started hearing the, the word kadosh and the melody in my, in my head. So I have a, a ritual I do. I take the phone and press record and start whispering or, cause she was still trying to sleep. So I didn't want to wake up, but you could hear the, the babies, you know, uh, groaning in the, in there. So that was how I, I wrote it. And I'll tell you the truth. Then I know the word kadosh, but I never paid attention to it. So I had never researched on it. I finished writing it before I went to properly research and realized that Kadosh actually means the holiness of God. Not holiness, but the holiness of God. It's a word used for sacred, you know. So it's a, a description that can only be attributed to God because the holiness of God cannot be compared to anybody else's holiness. You know, and, and that, that was basically the, the inspiration behind it. Awesome. That, that makes me ask you this question again. Mm. A question that I've been asking some gospel ministers, you know, some people say that the way they get uh, songs. their songs inspiration is because some because of the things that they're going through mm. or because something that they had. How are you being inspired when writing a song? Many, many, many ways. I mean, I I don't think songs are written just in one way. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes, like you're saying, life's issues inspires you to write. Mm. I get to write based on something I'm going through. Sometimes I get to write based on a prayer I'm praying to God. There are times I get to write based on an answered prayer. And so it becomes a song. I get to sometimes write based on a word that I'm reading that hits my spirit. I get to write when I'm in a service and a word just... And there are times you are in, a, in, a, in the middle of... I was in the middle of a service. The pastor was preaching. It was almost done. And all of a sudden I hear as if like the, my surrounding was blocked. So I could still hear him, but I couldn't hear him, but rather I was hearing like a loud voice just saying, give me oil in my lamp, may my light never be dim. So I thought somebody was whispering around me. So right there, I again take the phone and in the middle of the service, I said, give me oil in my lamp, may my light never be dim. And so you can hear the pastor saying, Lift your voice. Come on right now. <laughs> and it's saying, give me very, give me very. Like I, I, and then later I take my time, listen to it back again. 
you know, write down everything else. And then sometimes what I would then do is expand on all the other, or sometimes I'll go do a scripture um, check on it because every song has to have a, a scriptural backing or, you know, be in, in, in alignment with the word. And once in a while, too, you receive songs through dreams. I've had, I've had that situation. I'm going somewhere and I hear voices. I didn't know where it was coming from. It was drawing me closer. Because I get there and it was a lot of women in white scarves just crying out to God. And the song they sang, I was trusting God that when I wake up, I'll remember. And I woke up and I remembered. Sometimes you wake up and you don't. So song writing comes. And then there are times you just say, you know what? This message, I want to write on it. So you take your time and sit and write it. So it comes in different, different forms. Yeah. Uh, back to you, Jean. Yes. <laughs> uh, I know him very well. We have so many welcomes from every day. We discuss why did you come up with that thing like this? Uh, I, I, what's the? <laughs> if I have to do a collaboration, I have to feel it in my heart, and I have to be convinced by the Holy Spirit, and I need to have a relationship with the person, not just yeah, not just because you're famous or yeah. Uh, even with Joe, it's because we know someone, and then God just uh, um, made it happen like that. But um, I will not just invite someone because uh, he's popular or famous. Or, yeah, we have to have one heart. It has to be the same vision for uh, all of us, so that we can move to the same in the same direction. Yeah. <laughs> Being one of the ministers on their, on their profile, how does it feel to start under the anointing of Minister John, uh, Minister Andrew Bileno, and others? It's amazing. <laughs> I think uh, one of the things I've looked forward to, I think Joe does not know this, but I have followed him for quite some time, over <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> wow. Um, wow. In fact, I was telling him, uh, there's one of these songs we love singing here, uh, Mokobeni Tamobo. <laughs> uh, that song, we sing it here. In fact, thank God our, our worship minister is also here. <laughs> from is how you say the thing like the word right? <laughs> it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I have looked forward to meeting him as well, just having conversations. And uh, for the few hours we've talked, uh, I've just seen a kindred spirit, being one spirit. That tells you how people connect in the spirit, yeah. the spirit realm. People just connect, yeah. And so I'm grateful for the honor, and I'm also grateful to Jane as well for allowing me to be part of this, you know. Like you said, she could pick. I mean, there are so many people who, yeah, can be on this platform. And she, the thing is, she challenged me to do my own song, of which we got a song, wrote it, and uh, on Sunday we are going to sing that song. It's a beautiful, beautiful. It's a beautiful song. Oh, wow. So I'm looking forward to what God is going to do through this. And I am, well, if you ask me what I'm feeling, gratitude. Mm. Ah. Ah. I'm feeling. <laughs> so, so on Sunday we should Thanks. A lot of Yeah, uh, uh, I don't know. yeah, I was looking for my phone. The scripture I was looking at, uh, I've been looking at it for quite some time. And it talks about how this was Joshua when he was leading the children of Israel. And by the time uh, he, he passed on, uh, the second part of that conversation talks about how there is a generation that rose up that did not know the Lord, the God of the Israelites. Like... They did not know the arts and the things that God did. And then it continues to say, they did what was right in their mm. eyes. 
And for me, when I speak to a generation, the generation that is coming up, I pray that there will not be the generation that does not know the acts of God. Yeah. That consistently as we desire to grow uh, uh, in the different areas of our lives, that we should desire that the growth is also in relation to our spiritual growth, which is in God. Because we need, as a nation, let me tell you where we are at, we might look for answers in the right policies and appointing leaders, but as we've seen over time, even those leaders who we think are believers have failed. So there is need for a consistency in the relationship we have with God from a personal level. And that's what I would encourage the young people out there, that even as they come, the cry of my heart is that there will be a generation whose heart is inclined to God, that when we are seeking for solutions, there will be God-led solutions. In as much as there's so many places we can get solutions from, but let the ground it be from the word of God. In fact, it takes me back to what our national anthem says, justice be our shield and defender. That is such a strong testament of who God actually is. So, yeah, that's what I would encourage them. That's what I'd say. For I praise them. I would invite them to come. Because in the spaces of worship, we get to interact with God and pour our hearts before the Lord who hears us. And with a grateful heart consistently, He listens and He blesses us. Yes. How, how do you hope that uh, uh, the theme of gratitude will impact the lives of those who will attend the concert? Well, like, ah, I always call her my bishop. Anyway, she's here. <laughs> Karimi. Pastor Karimi herself. <laughs> so the Psalms 100, I go back to it, was 4 or 5. It says, Enter. Enter the password. with the password. Thank you. So for me, <laughs> that they will come with thankful hearts. Things have happened. Things are going to happen, but consistently have a heart that is grateful. Because in their lives we know there's something that God has done that they are grateful for. In as much as there are things that might not be working, there's one thing. And in fact, the conversation we were saying is, maybe you should share this out on the 7th of July as they come. List seven things that you are grateful for. Seven things. And we are going to pray, we are going to worship. Basically, we are coming to worship and give thanks what God has done. So that's what I would tell them. Yeah. Maybe can you tell us of a time where you felt like, like uh, you needed to be grateful for all those great things that God has done to you? Do you have a specific uh, time? Oh, you want his seven? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this particular one, being involved in gratitude, wow. this, this is big for me because I've trusted God and I've looked forward to being in a space where I could interact with people, the same spirit that are called to worship God wholeheartedly. And God has allowed for me this this platform. So I'm so I, I'm actually very grateful because for me this is a big thing that I even get to write a song and it's recorded. That's big. Uh, from where I come from, you call it Manugi Maduum. Yani, it's big. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am grateful. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. One last one. Yeah. Hi. You're <laughs> supposed <laughs> <laughs> to ask the. Yeah. Okay, you finish. I'll answer, then I'm saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Because he said last one. <laughs> You can't, you can't let her go free like that. Yeah. <laughs> I know you have your own favorite artist that you've done with, the ones that you inspired to have with. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, one internationally, who is your favorite artist? And then locally, who is your favorite I can't answer that question. <laughs> I choose. I, choose. I plead the fifth. <laughs> I mean, I have, a, I have a lot of favorites. I have people who... Over the years, I've blessed my life. Uh, both when is it local? You mean here in, in, in Kenya? Or what's the local? Oh, 
many, 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 many artists. Like if I <coughs> if I say and leave names, I'll get in trouble. So let me not say names. But definitely, I've, I've I've been coming to Kenya for a while. Not only that, but even before I started coming to Kenya, I had a relationship with a few Kenyan artists, and and I think a few have blessed my life with their music and. Um, Internationally too, yeah, quite a lot. I know I'm not saying anything, but I'm saying something. Because <laughs> I've had the opportunity of having to work with artists all over the world, so sometimes it's hard to pick names. From the UK to the Americas to um, Canada to Kenya, South Africa. So I guess that my life has been impacted by too many people. Mm. Too many people. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, one, one of these days I'll give you names, I promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, uh, let's give it to Karimi to Ichi, the old actor. Yes. To welcome us <laughs> and tell us if we are welcome to Ojo. Or, or, we, or we should go back to Ayo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Uh, wow, guys, thank you so much for this opportunity. As you've had, my name is Pastor Karimi. Mm. I'm the worship pastor here at Nairobi Chapel, mm. Long Road. And it's such an honor and delight to just host these wonderful people who have been preparing this meal. This meal started being prepared. And it is such a privilege to be in the background and just observe and watch as God has pieced all together. This coming Sunday. Um, Jane is a wonderful sister and friend and um, I've just been in the background interceding for her. I keep telling her, we're praying for you. <laughs> two more days, three more days to go. And uh, just being joined by these wonderful people who make the, uh, the list of people who will be ministering this weekend. It's a privilege and an honor, as Dulo has said, to see the men and women of God come together and grace us with their presence, not only, but also to lift up the name of Jesus. Um, we are living in turbulent times, but the Lord is faithful, and he has allowed for this event, not only to happen here at Nairobi Chapel, but also in this continent. Mm -hmm. And it is not a mistake what God is about to do as we partner together to lift him up this uh, Sunday. And we are sure that he will honor the preparation that has gone on behind the scenes. He will honor the faith of the people who have worked tirelessly, not only the talents that are on stage, but also the numerous number of people who are working behind the scenes, the production teams, the media teams, everyone who has participated in making that sure that this event is successful. So we look forward to this event and we know that we'll all be blessed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, so Julo, please tell us the artist who is here. Rick, uh, that's the, 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 the Rick Jones, uh, who will be coming in tonight. Uh, we have uh, Gazoni, Susan, uh, from JCC as well will be here. We have Minister Jackie Gashiri. Uh, we have Andrew, Andrew Ngelelo, an amazing uh, worshipper as well. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, we have our host, yes, uh, who will be also serving and ministering with us on the day. Yes. We also have MC, uh, Oh yes, 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 yes. We have Kambu and Anton Ndiama who will be hosting the event. Yes. Right, thank you so much. Oh, before before we go, um, I think part of that conversation as well. For uh, before you finish, tomorrow we have our workshop. Yes. We have our worship workshop happening at Satan Valley Road from nine to uh, from nine a.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, breakfast will be served from nine. To 9:30, then from then on we commence the conversations, the worship conversations. So we invite you to come, especially worship leaders. Uh, we are going to have very interactive uh, conversations concerning the spaces that God has called us to in ministry. And Joe is going to be a part of the panels that are going to be there. Mm -hmm. So you are welcome, mm -hmm. Karibuni So uh, thank you so much. Yeah. So Joe.
Kataki, you pull us a the cake is nice. The cake oh. is nice. And I want to say thank you for for this um, honor done me. Thank you. And um, so we, we walk out. I'm cutting it. There's no July born here. Yes. No July. July. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So please come. Please come. <laughs> July, July bonds. Yeah. They say July bonds rock. You know, it's not. They do actually. You know. <laughs> so we had this cake in the name of God the Father, the Son, hey. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So I'm supposed to come more. Uh, this is my cake. I'm let you, can you sing eat everything. and uh, you eat before me. Yeah. So you have to eat first. I have to eat first. Okay. Okay. I have to eat first. Eat. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Is that how he's saying it? Eat. Eat. <laughs> okay, so. It's fast. It's salted caramel. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amazing, Please, amazing. can we eat now? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, so yeah. we'll uh, continue eating as we. I guess you're done. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. You want to ask?